Now you can't play it for the rest of your life. <laughs> you would break down in front of me. I would. <laughs> yes. Crimes would be committed. <laughs> All right. We've got Punko on the left and Mike Cross going straight for a headbutt. So aggressive. And Punko. This will be a good match because obviously Mike is not afraid to be aggressive when need to be. And oh, oh that, that butt stuff. That was nice. Oh, when you got perfect. Pretty convincing first round. Yeah, convincing, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike, Mike, don't break down in front of us. Not like this, Mike Ross. You know that perfects against Seth, you know. They happen. They happen, exactly. You cannot let it get to you, right? But you see, you see Filipino Chev right there. His teammate says, hey. Yo, <laughs> hey, dog. Yo, Snap yo, out of it, dog. Yo, dog, you're the best. <laughs> That's all that needs to happen. You know, Mike Cross says, you know what? I am the best. Let's get back into this. That's team tournaments, man. Yeah. That's. You need that, man. You need someone with you. Nice. That was that was really slick by Mike there. That crouch crouch roundhouse, or just roundhouse. Sorry. Get some good damage here. Wow. And, and right just like there, that, the life lane life lead is regained. Exactly. Just right back to it. Seems like Mike is deciding to play a bit of more of a you know lane game here. Oh, nice. Oh. I. I don't know, I'm expecting hand. Oh, that sucks. That's gonna be That's a heartbreaker, man. Yeah. EX headbutt, just not as good as the EX uppercut. Mike Cross stands up, at least he's happy. Ah, it hurts, it hurts, Gutex. Mike was playing well that round too, but Seth can just deal so much damage when he needs, especially when he's at a life deficit. And uh, next up, I think this is a good call. They're bringing up Smug to play against a Seth matchup. And this, Gutex, this is the match I've been waiting for. I want to see this. This is going to be... Uh, this well, is going to be fun. You were saying earlier that Smug trains specifically against Seth, right? He does. I mean, it's Smug is the type of person to lose against something and just go into the lab and just figure everything out on how to you know, fix and punish what he lost to. Uh, you know, I've seen him, like, I, I I talk with him all the time, and, you know, sometimes he loses the game. He's like, yo, Berui, man, I lost the match against this guy player, and, you know, you're doing this, and then, you know, he, he always comes up with an answer, and that's just the great quality he has. He's just very, very hardworking in that sense where, um, you know, he doesn't, let, he doesn't let little things discourage him, and he knows that there's always some sort of answer to things, so... All right. Are, you ready? Are we going straight into it? We we got Smug on the right, Punko on the left, and this no gonna, respect. Yeah, this is going to be a match of no respect. Oh, oh wow. no respect again! Yeah. Just go for the damage. It's too early to go for the resets. Yeah, he, I don't think he wanted to do a heavy machine gun blow because he did two jabs. Jennifer may have missed at that point unless he did one jab. So, okay, nice. That's a new buff there. Oh, that was so sick. oh my gosh, Smug is just closing the gap. Oh. Really taking it to Punko right now. Oh, and that's gonna be nice it. Nice reactions. Smug. Looking good right now. Good stuff. Also, you know, Smug's using double ultra. Because of the teleport. He needs to catch that teleport. Mm. So double ultra is actually quite good. I think teleport and uh, crouch stand fierce for stuff. He can mm. ultra that as well. So uh, Seth won't be able to use his little, little dalsome limbs uh, without, you know, worrying about ultra. So definitely great choice. Because he doesn't need the damage, right? He already deals so much, and Seth... He doesn't have a lot of yeah, life. Exactly. A lot of health. So, yeah. Definitely a great call. Okay. Let's see if Punko can get something going here. Nice. Just backdashes out of there. Here comes the corner pressure. Ooh, Whoa, that's something you don't yeah. see all the time. Low yeah. forward FADC. And to... Oh. And there's that uh, tricky head stomp that we were talking about earlier. 
Nico yeah. looking strong right oh, now. Man, that we was pretty convincing. Down to the last round. Yes, the, the low board into FADC. We're seeing that a lot with Hugo players as well. Yes. Into Ultra One because, you know, the head yeah, stun the is. First... There's still, there's like a one frame or two frame gap there. Mm -hmm. So you have to have, you can't react to it. I don't know. Yeah, the guy that I saw do that was, uh, first was uh, Kelvin at West Coast Warzone. Got a lot of mileage out of that. It's really good. Oh, let's see. Oh, he can't oh, wow. read the back and dash, the and that's going to be it. Smug. Taking it over Punko. What a good read there, man. Just super solid. Because he saw the first backdash and Smug was like, you know what? He's probably going to do it again. And that so was... now they have uh, Pepe Dai and Street Eleven, uh, who's playing Gen, right? That's right, yeah. It's a good so team. we'll see who they put up right now. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure. I don't know who I would put up in this scenario. I, think I would put Street Eleven up. And I think oh, actually that's who is. they are putting up. Yeah. Because. I mean, anything could happen between Smug and Pepe Dai, to be honest. But uh, it's, I think it's more, I think it's better to to throw up the Gen matchup against against Dudley. Yeah, I mean, um, he, that's definitely a, a match that not a lot of people are too familiar with. I mean, if you didn't train specifically for that match, you're going to have a tough time. Yeah. No, absolutely. So we'll see how uh, how Smug handles this. He's getting some coaching advice right now from Mike Cross and Filipino Champ. I wonder what they're telling him. They're like, yo, man, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, sometimes that's all you need your team to tell you. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much in-depth knowledge Filipino Champ or Mike Ross have yeah. on, um, you know, the Dudley Gen matchup. It is. But it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because you got two of the best two of the hardest workers in the business yeah telling you ah you'll be fine yeah no for sure and this is actually i would say it's a rough matchup for for dudley uh you know you have to watch out for the back dashes of course but just playing that neutral game uh you, it's, buttons, it's scary Gen's buttons are so Gen's good buttons are so good dudley cannot focus because of hands so it's just it's going to be a lot of a lot of counter hitting and a lot of uh, option selecting for Smug to kind of maybe try and catch the limbs. Uh, I feel like forward medium punch for for Dudley, which is that little the gut little punch. Gut punch, yeah. It's the a, other gut punch. The other gut punch, exactly, is is a very good tool in this matchup. Uh, I actually play against a friend of mine who's a pretty strong Gen player. And this matchup can can go either way, man. It's it's very. Is that because the forward medium punch hits at the same spot that Gen's medium punch does? Exactly, and you you are you're looking to counter poke it. Uh, that there one. you go. See, he went straight for it, and there you go. Exactly how I said. I, I don't even know if Smug was going to really go for it, but I feel it's a great button in this matchup because it's, you're looking to counter poke, and that's see, he's getting in that range where he won't hit Gen, but he'll hit him if he sticks out a limb, uh -huh. and that's just that's great to see. So. Oh, yeah, that's a big be... come up on a trade right there. All right, let's see how Smug tries to get out of this. And when Gen, once again, if Gen has super in this matchup, very scary. Oh, nice. Gets him to the corner. This is really good. This is, this is usually where it ends for Gen players. <laughs> it's really true. Oh, no. Didn't cancel into red focus or super. Oh. oh, that's unfortunate. Who text the meter? Okay, yeah. See, that's minus two. So forward, forward, fierce. You got to be careful. You can short swing blow, I believe, but it's, uh, it's, yeah, it just depends on the spacing and such. Nice. See, that kidney blow is, uh, it's very scary because after he does that on block, it's either he's gonna throw or go for a frame trap. So it's a little bit of a guessing game right there. Yes, there you go. Oh, gets a counter hit. Could have got something off of it, but he didn't react. And yes, he's buffering that stand around house. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice jump back. Here's, oh, counter hit. Oh, he could have got something out of that, but this is going to be... Oh, get, just get stunned. Good stuff. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to be it, but it was going to be very close to it. Good stuff to smug there. However, Street 11 should have quite a bit of meter at this point. And yes, he's sitting on three bars of butter. Oh, that's not a good start. Okay. I really like how Smug backed off after that knockdown. Yeah, to try he, to bait out the EX up. Because uh, he realized, you know, Street 11 showed. Oh, oh no, reset. Okay. And again, showing really good patience. Backing yeah, gonna go. off, respecting him. Just 
just uptick at this point. Yeah, see, even though he got... Ooh, that's going to be it. Oh, he knew he was going to backdash too. So good. He was just a little bit late. Good stuff by Smug. Taking it convincingly. That was... That was good. That was very, very... Uh, convincing, I would say. But not so bad now. to Street 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Street 11 did pretty well. But now it's going to be Pepe Dai. Yeah, coming with the El Fuerte. But I know I, I love what you brought up with the point of, uh, you know, Smug kind of backing off at that point because Street 11 kind of showed Smug throughout that set that, hey, I can, you know, I can um, I can uppercut on Wake Up and I will uppercut on Wake Up. And I believe he did it two two times prior to that and Smug started to, to respect, which is kind of the instinct that you got to have as a Dudley player, you know, you got to really pay attention to what your opponent likes to do on Wake Up. Uh, you know, whether they are freaking out or not. So. Yeah, Dudley is so. Dudley is so scary on your wake up. Yes, yeah. You know, you got the high. In addition to the overhead and just going low with low jabs, you also have the backswing blow to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, now you can do backswing blow into red, red focus. focus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that was that's what that's my favorite. The empty jump into backswing blow into red focus ultra. All right, we got the one and only Pippa Die. Is it Pippa Day or Pippa Die? Here, everyone say differently. I think it's Pippa Die. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that then. Are you ready? Coming here from Japan, rocking the fuerte. Now these these guys playing. This can go any way. And right off the bat, Pippa Die getting some good pressure here. Nice anti here. Smug finding his way out of the corner. That's right. Dash, dash. Oh no. Oh, okay. Thrown out of his Ford Fierce. Now, the one thing that sucks for Dudley in this matchup, when he goes for overhead, he actually has to use crouch short instead of crouch jab. A lot of the time, mainly in, in the corner. In this matchup specifically? Yes, in this matchup and a few other matchups. So if you see him go for overhead, notice that he'll go for crouch jab. And here's a rose set up. Nice. That's the first time that we've seen him use the rose. Yeah. That's an old third strike setup from uh, back in the day. The, the rose really added to Dudley's game at third strike. It's a little bit different in this game, it is. but at third strike, man, that was like the base of his, of his whole mix of game. Because you had to block the rose and then deal with the mix up. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see, Dudley can always get a medium machine gun blow after that. It's not a lot of damage, but it's much better than what a lot of other characters can get. Oh. Nice. He's really paying attention to those. See, Fuerte's got to be careful on Wake Up, too, because... Oh, I backdash. All right, let's see if Pepe Dai can get anything going on this Wake Up here. Oh, and he what a gets... Cross oh, this, this could, could be, be it. it. Red focus into Ultra. Oh, that was so sick. Yeah. Kept it simple. I like it. Still alive? Might be. Oh, just by Sliver. That's because, of course, uh... The damage on your ultra. Oh, there you go, nice. Yeah, when you use dub double ultra, uh, the damage is reduced so that you only get anywhere between 60 and 70 percent depending yes, on the character. Yes, Dudley at 70 percent, so he's not part of the 60 percent. So 